if you're somebody, this is a problem, is that if you're somebody that gets attached quickly, like a boss. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be talking about um, sex on the first date. Um, what we're going to be watching what some of these ladies think about having sex on the first date, and I'm going to chime in and give you guys my opinion about that. Okay. For those who don't know me, who are new here, I'm Alex, and I am considered the the toxic dating coach, and um, and I like to do this kind of reviews for people who find this, these kind of videos entertaining. Like this video if you enjoy it, and comment down below for the algorithm. Say anything. Let me know what videos you guys want me to review, or if you don't like me, comment down below, okay? Or else I'm closing the channel. Um, let's begin this. And by the way, we're having we have I have a course called Nice Girl. Um, that course is literally for nice girl. If you struggle being assertive, you can purchase it now. It's only available for, for purchase this month. Okay, so purchase it now before you lose access to it. Okay, all right, let's begin. Let's see. All right. Okay. A recent article in the Sydney Morning Herald posed this interesting question: In the age of Me Too, is it still okay to have sex on the first date? The author, Thomas Mitchell, says that despite living in an age of sexual liberation, sex on the first date still suffers from a bad reputation. He says, quote, the typical narrative tells us it's a big no-no because there's some vague speech about around what people might think, how you might feel, and what might happen. So, ladies, do you think due to the current... I mean, usually, um, the condemnation of having sex on the first date comes from religion. It's just that simple. Um, the more religious your culture, the more they'll venerate... Bener the more they'll... Con the more they will just let me say simpler words for me because I can't say that complicated word. The more they'll they'll judge people who have sex on the first date. And anytime you feel guilt about doing something, it's usually because somebody has manipulated you into feeling that kind of guilt. It shouldn't you shouldn't feel guilty for having sex on the first date. That's just it's not like it's not in your in your biology to feel guilty. It just makes no sense. Climate with me too going on, people shouldn't be getting it on with someone that they just met. I don't think people understand what the Me Too movement is about. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is not about have sex, don't have sex. This is, don't be forced to have sex with people you don't want to have sex. Like, two completely different... Exactly. Um, different things. Like, two is about something so much greater. So it's about different. boundaries and yes. respect and having intimacy that's consensual. Correct. If well, this it's is not consensual... About, what you're saying is not about sex. You yeah. are absolutely correct. The yeah. Me Too movement is about someone taking advantage of someone yeah, and correct. they think that they have power. Correct. So Okay, all right. I don't think... I don't... <laughs> Please, come on, get to the point. It has nothing to do with two consents, consenting oh, adults. Yes. My thing is a one night stand could be fun yeah. if that's what you're into. Right. Okay? Yeah. The problem is. You now, know, here's the part that I'm going to disagree with them. Watch. People that aren't into, they think they're into a one night stand, but they're, they're not. not. And then they'd be crying later. later. Right. Like the yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. no. And then drinking, they, they get in their feelings. Exactly. And drinking the too many. And, I, and I'll tell you what, if you're somebody, this is a problem, is that if you're somebody that gets attached quickly, You're, it's almost like having a handicap for dating. It, it's, a, it's a handicap. Because before you find the right guy, you got to bang a lot of dudes who, who are not the right guy. That's just the truth. And everything in life, to find something good, you got to go through a lot of shit. Through a lot of shitty dicks in this occasion. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't be reserved sexually and at the same time find the right guy. It's, it's just not how it works. Because one, it takes a guy sex in order to find out if he likes you because his dick is clouding his, his thinking, okay? And if it's somebody that gets attached quickly, when you have sex with them, you're going to end up getting attached at the moment of sex and they're going to leave. But if you take a long time to have sex with them, when you finally have sex with them, and the reason why you're finally having sex with them is because in your mind, you're, you said, oh... He, he has passed my test. He looks like he likes me. You have sex with him, and all of a sudden, he pulls away. And you say, oh, it was the sex that made him lose interest. No. What made him lose interest was the fact that he had sex with you. He was finally able to see you for who you are without, without seeing you with the eyes of his dick. And he realized he doesn't like you. And then he pulled away. But now you like him. Now you're stuck with somebody who doesn't like you that much. But that you already qualified him enough to have sex with you. This is the issue. Is that 
in order for a guy to like you, he needs to have sex. But if you use sex as a qualification, as a signal that you are qualified to be with me, in other words, you have proven that you like me, you have proven you're not here to play games, but you're never going to see the real side of the guy until you have sex with him. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You get what I'm trying to say? Very confusing. Well, if you know you want a relationship with someone, don't have a one night stand. If you know you're looking for a relationship, you know. It, you, you see, and that's the problem is that if you withhold sex, nothing wrong with that. But if you withhold sex, that's pretty much you're, you're saying you want a relationship. And then it'll give him, once he finds out that, he'll say, okay, then all I need to tell her, all I need to do is tell her she, I want a relationship too. And he'll play the game and he'll act like he likes you or he might even think he likes you. But in reality, all of these actions are inspired by his fucking dick. Plain and simple. Men and women both. I'm not going to put it all just on women. Did they mm -hmm. think that, okay, well, I have sex with this person. That's going to get them. Honey, sex, it, it, it's so overrated. I mean, really, it's good, <laughs> but it's overrated. Without a connection, there's no connection. It's so much bigger than just sex. Like, sex is... The thing, what they're trying to say is that in order to have sex with somebody, you got to feel a connection with them. And that's fine. I agree with that. I agree with that. But if that's sometimes you don't know the people who you're going to connect with. Sometimes you don't need a connection. Like sometimes you may not have the connection on the first date. Okay. But you may want to have sex with them. What I'm trying to say, lady, is this, is that waiting to have sex with a guy will not ruin your chance, will not make your chances better. Now, if you have sex on the first date and he gets turned off, then you don't want to be with that guy. You don't want to be because he judges women for having sex. That guy will judge you in every other area of your life. It's not going to be a fun relationship. So if you say, oh, I don't want to have sex with a guy on the first date because he might judge me, then you know, <clears throat> you know what? Do it so that then you can see who they are. Sex on the first date only reveals to the guy how much he likes you. That's what it does. It's not just going to yeah. keep somebody. Right. Take it away from just sex. I've noticed since I'm, you know, creeping back into the dating game. Uh -huh. I've noticed. Tell me my, about it. My friends, my friends who have been hype on dating, they said a big shift has happened in dating. Tell me if your single friends have said this too. Okay. That back in the days, you know, um, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. Well, it might be on the first date. It might be the third date, whatever. It right. could be the man. It could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they, they're waiting. It's a third date, fourth date, a week later. He had... Well, it's because, well, I, I'll be honest with you. I usually tell guys to try to bang the girl on the first date. Like, go for it, dude. Okay? But a lot of these guys are so have been so feminized by, by, the, by the culture that they don't want to make the first move. They, they, that's, just femin that's just the feminization of men. Because if you go to Mexico or you go to Italy, where the guys there are toxic men, where they're very toxic in terms of masculinity... Oh, they'll make the first move. But if you come to Europe, like like Amsterdam, where I am, or even Germany, where it's, it's a very feminist culture and the men are more feminine, yo, know, the women are the ones that tell me, the women are the ones that tell you, let's go back home to your place. The women are the ones, like, I'll go on a date with a girl and she'll be like, okay, let's go to your place. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? I'm like, okay, all right, shit. Or like one time I was with a girl and, and she was like, um, she was like, we, we hook up today, but we don't fuck. We fuck next time. I'm like, <laughs> like, like, Jesus Christ, white girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> why are you, what the fuck, what? Okay, uh, all right, fine. Or uh, the, the, the boldest, I swear to God, look, to my mother, this really happened. She was like, I suck. <laughs> she was like, I suck your dick, but next time we fuck. I'm like. Okay, I, I I don't know how to respond to that, but sure. What the fuck? Like, and she really did that. Like, the next time we fucked, I was like, yo, you gotta... It, it just shocks me. Like, it's like, what the fuck? Like, this is crazy, people. Uh, <laughs> but that's just how some coaches are. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 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 what happens when you reverse the roles. The women then, if, you, if you're asking men to be more sensitive, more understanding... Or, 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 you know, or to be, you know, you know, that stuff, what's going to happen is that guys would just go and exaggerate and just not make any moves. 
And so that means the onus is on you now because they're afraid of to make the move. Now you got to make the move next. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't ask guys to, to get in touch with their femininity because then they'll say, oh, so that means a woman wants a guy who's super masculine and feminine. So what happens is that they don't just take a little, they don't just develop a little femininity. No, they go all the way. They, 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 they go all the way. They, they go to the other side of the goddamn realm, right? Because they don't, they don't know what dose. They don't know what, how much femininity is really attractive in a guy, which I do teach that to guys, like the, the art of, of feminine charm in a man. Hasn't gone in for the kiss. He doesn't do any touching or anything. And I've asked my dude friends that are single, right. and they're like, you don't know where a woman's going to go with that story. Well, I ain't touching nobody. Oh, oh, I have heard that. So, yeah, yeah I have heard right. something going on out there, and it, and it kind of it sucks because... The Me Too movement is so strong and so... so. Exactly. Well, the thing is that at that point, people were using that movement for their power. And they were corrupting that movement. Just like a lot of movements just get corrupted. Powerful for the people that need it, but it shouldn't ruin the maturity that we should have within intimacy and relationships. Agreed. Got it. Yeah. So yeah. they're afraid, even yeah. if the girl that they're with... This is what I'm hearing from my guests. Yes. They're yes. still, they're still afraid of what might happen afterwards. Yes. My yes, because sadly, if, 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 if you may be uh, aggressive, a little more aggressive than she... Thought you would be it's like everything has to and, and, and i've definitely had women who say who say no in a playful way and i stop and then they, they say no that means yes i'm like oh. i remember i remember one time this girl came from fucking arizona from fucking arizona she may be watching this she had, she had some herpes right <laughs> some herpes right she came from arizona and I brought her in. She was in my apartment, right? And the first night she didn't have sex. I'm like, okay, whatever, right? Maybe she needs to get comfortable. I'm not gonna try. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be persistent. So I tried twice that night, and she was like, nah, you know, whatever. The next day, I tried to make a move, and she was still bad. And she was only there for three days. And I'm like, man, I bought this flight was expensive, man. You know what I'm saying? But the Lexus you bought on the flight. That doesn't mean she's going to have sex with you. Well, I expect it, okay? I don't care. I, if I buy you a flight to come see me, I'm not here to talk to your personality. I'm here to maybe fuck, okay? That's just the truth. And if you don't see, if you don't, if you don't see the new, if, you don't, or if you're not able to see the nuance, then you, you're pretty naive, okay? You're pretty fucking naive. So the whole day I was trying to make a move and she was like, no, no. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, cool. I'm done. And once I gave up, she started noticing that I wasn't even making a move. So she started kissing me. She started making now, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, okay, maybe she came to her fucking senses, <laughs> you know? And then I was like, ah, I took her to, I took her to the bed, which it was a studio. So it was literally we were in the bed, right? You know, and I started making now. And then she was like, no, no. And I was like, okay, cool, no problem. And then she was like, what? She was like, no, make a move. And I'm like... Okay, started kissing, you know, took off her shirt, and then I went to touch her boobs, which were magnificent. And she was like, no, no, no. And I was like, okay, no problem, no problem. Put my clothes. She was like, what? Dude, you're supposed to keep going. I was like, I was like, you know what? Get out. Get out. Get, get, get out of my apartment. She was like, what? I was like, get the fuck out, man. I, I don't play those goddamn, I don't play those games. I don't play those games. Okay? I don't play that game. You played a very dangerous game here. She was like, but I'm just... But no, 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 get out. She was like, but, but, no, 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 get out. And she was like, okay, okay, we, we could do it. And I was like, really? She was like, yeah. I was like, you know what? Record it right here. Say that we could do it. I even fucking made her say it. She was like, yeah, I want you to fuck me. She recorded... I recorded it on the phone. It was on my other phone. <laughs> you know, just in case something happened, right? But that game is just... That's why a lot of guys, some guys, like, it, it, it's hard to read the nuance. You know what I'm saying? But let's let's keep watching communicated verbally before it happens physically. Like, like, which kind of takes the, the fun moment out of it. Imagine if every time, let's say I'm kissing her neck and then maybe I want to nibble on it a little bit, like a little bite. I have to say, um, is it okay if I then nibble? Because, because <laughs> you can nibble okay. and she can be like, ah, you, you bit me. <laughs> let's watch the next clip. And you don't even know nowadays because most dates incorporate alcohol. Most women or men don't remember what they said. So you won't- And you know what, with, with alcohol, I stopped, I've stopped getting drunk on dates because what I've noticed is that when you get drunk on dates, you sometimes have unprotected sex and that's not good. Like I stopped, I stopped getting tipsy on, on my dates, man, because of it. Almost got to get somebody to sign.
Danny to make sure yeah, that's that night you said it was okay for me to go down on that neck. Well, I think in, in that case, it's not necessarily me too. It's going back to good old-fashioned courting and dating yes. and getting to know yes. somebody. And if yes. that's the case, then that is a good thing, you know, because the, the problem is, is that people miscommunicate. I do know people that have had one-night stands and they've developed relationships. And actually yes. got and and Yeah, you, you know what? It's actually better to have sex with them quicker because they're able to think about you clearly without a, their dicks getting in the way. You get what I'm trying to say? They're able to 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 think about you without having your his dick amplifying the way he sees you. So it's smart to do that. Just wants to play. Yeah, it, 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 it's one of those things that you could only you can only find out if you guys are consistently having sex. Because over time, the desire to have sex lowers. But if, if, if it was the desire to have sex that was inspiring his actions, you'll notice that the more you have sex with him, the less he'll be engaged. But if it was really his emotions that were inspiring his, his, his attention towards you, you'll notice that the sex decreases, but also, but his interest in you stays. Ladies, again, I'm, I'm trying to say this. You can't have your cake and eat it too. In other words, you can't just want to have a cake. And, and, and at the same time, eat it and, and still want to have your cake. It, you, it, you already fucking ate it. It's, it's gone. You can't have both things, right? So it's kind of like you, you're just not, you're, you're just never going to really know how he feels unless the sex happens. And it's not just me saying this to benefit myself. It's just how things are, people. Right. And make right. sure you get that out of him first before you get the good good. So right. give the good good so you're not confused. But you know, you know what, I mean? what? I will say, because I've been dating a lot lately. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that part? Do tell. I've been finding, but you gotta understand, I'm dating older men now. I stop with the younger men. But define old. Yeah. It's actually a good idea to do. Okay. Older, older, okay. like you know, between forty-five and fifty. Ladies, don't date younger guys. I, I'm just letting you know, like maybe two years younger, but over over that, like you guys might not believe me, but there is a big gap when a guy's younger than you in terms of mentality. Don't date younger guys, man. You it, you're only gonna just be fuck buddies with them. Fifty-five. That's a great age. Very nice. Very nice. It's a good age, but what yeah, I'm finding is that I'm, this is just my suggestion. They tell you what they want. They tell you what they expect and what they That's want. What and I think a lot of times women, we want something different and we yes. just don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. But you have to listen. If he's saying, I'm dating two other people, then listen. he's dating two other people. Don't sit here and then you turn around and have mm -hmm. intimate relations. Well, I think they're they're losing, they're going out of the top. But generally speaking, ladies, I don't disagree with sex on the first date. Um, if you're somebody that gets attached quickly, um, have sex on the first date. I mean, it... it I think having sex on the first day is going to be a little bit more difficult um, because, but you see, if you get a task quickly, you may have to just, I, again, this is, this sounds like something that benefits me. You may just have to start, you may just have to just have sex with a lot of guys so that your bot, so that you could get used to not getting attached. You get what I'm trying to say? It's almost like, it's almost like your first girlfriend, you get attached quickly and the more girlfriends you have, the less intense it is, you know what I'm saying? So maybe you just need to have sex more. I'm, it sounds like, it sounds like, of course you would say that, right? But it's true. You may just need to have more sex so that it's not a big deal for you anymore. And once you're able to not have a, not make a big deal out of the sex, then you can have sex to see whether or not you like the guy. And if you don't like him, you can just kick him, um, throw him to the side to the side of the road, and just keep keep moving on until you find the right guy. You know, it takes, you got to have cojones to do this. You got to have emotional maturity to really make this work out. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this type of video. If you guys want me to make more videos like these, comment down below and let me know, man. I'm here to, um, I want to entertain you guys, not only educate you guys, and I find these videos to be more engaging to you guys and the others. I'll make the other videos for the general public, but this is for, this. these types of videos are for my followers specifically, okay? So to, just to give you guys some diversity. The only type of diversity, diversity you'll ever get on this channel. This is Alex from Mindful Attraction. I hope you guys enjoy your toxic day and have a beautiful toxic weekend. Take All right, so if you're a nice girl, if you're tired of being played, if you're tired of people not respecting you, 
if you resent that people don't take you seriously, if people just see you as a sex object, if you feel like people are always playing you, I would highly recommend you check out this call, course called Nice Girl. I rarely put out courses, and every one of my courses is with a specific purpose. Psychological Game of Attraction was just for single people. Natural Chemistry was for women in relationships. This course is for specific nice girls. Now, most of you guys are nice. Most of you guys have great hearts. Unfortunately, men take advantage of you. So I have this limited time course. Specifically, you guys can only buy it and get access to it July and November. Now, if you purchase it in July or November, you could, you could have access to it all year round. But you could only purchase it July and November. So this month only, you guys can purchase this course. It's only for a limited time, right? So in this course, you're pretty much going to learn about how to, uh, how, how, to, how to set boundaries, how to project a, a powerful presence, how to create healthy boundaries, um, how to communicate yourself in, a, in, a, in an assertive way, how to not let people take advantage of you. Like you're going to learn the art of um, how to identify those who are trying to take advantage of you, how to assert yourself, signs of weakness, signs of strength, and how to communicate signs of strength and how to lower the signs of weakness. All of these things, I can promise you, ladies and gentlemen, look, okay, if you just do what this course says, just doing what this course says is going to improve not only your dating life, but your professional life, your personal life your social life with your friends and family. Because people will always try to test you. People will always see whether or not they can take advantage of you, even a fucking child. So by purchasing this course, you could, so you could, you could create an, a, a, a healthy immune system. There are three types of immune system. There is your body's Im immune system. There is an emotional immune system that you increase through meditation. And then there's a social immune system that is through self-assertion. Okay, so this course will help you build that emo that social immune system to talk to push away certain behaviors from your life and certain people, and by default you attract the right people. So check out that course. One is that okay? Look, I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's not gonna make you. It's not gonna fix the problems 100. percent I'm I'm not here to lie to you guys. I'm here to give you realistic expectation. Okay, it's not gonna make you. It's not gonna completely change your life from day to night. But if you do what the videos say. Okay, if you're 20% not, if you're, if you're at a 20% in terms of assertiveness by finishing this course, you could go through it 40%. Now you guys might say, where are the evidence for it? In my life only. Okay. And through people's experience through applying these methods and through doing research about what actually helps assertiveness. Okay. So I, I thoroughly re researched this, um, this course, I put a lot of thought into it. It's not complete. Next month, I'm going to add another part, which if you buy it now, you're going to have access to it. Okay. So I'll see you guys inside that course and stay toxic, my friends. Purchase it now or I'm closing the channel. Okay. See you guys inside.